Yeah, New Orleans have great people. Any, any place you go, have interest in, in the outside, not on themselves. They, that's really good, you know. I didn't expect that. I'm here with Mark Poirier at the exhibit. What are your thoughts about the pictures here? Well, they're really provocative. I mean, I, I didn't know a lot about Haitian culture myself until I read the book The Dewbreaker, the one book, one New Paltz book, which is a really wonderful book. It's a really powerful book, and there's a lot of uh, some really sad things in there about the country, Haiti. So I came to this exhibit because I wanted to see some of the things that are written about in the book. And um, it's just, uh, it's really heart-wrenching. I mean, it's a really poor country, but you could see despite that that the people have a lot of spirit and uh, a lot of joy in them, despite the incredible poverty in which they live. I think generally people will feel um, distant from these photographs just because of the graphic nature, and it's easy for them to kind of say, well, this isn't my life, and this is the way Haiti is, but I'm not like that, and um, this is not how America is. But I think we've seen a lot of destruction and a lot of horror in the last year, especially since 9-11, and, and maybe, maybe our life could be like this, and maybe it could go in this direction. My goal with um, my picture, the negative, with, my, with the negative picture, I hope people can see the picture and they say, they're going to start to change things. Because lots of people see my picture, they say they're negative. You, you, you make our country look bad. Yes, that's a good response. If I make your country look bad, do something to make it look better.